Okay, we just finished a print, and I want to show you guys the proper procedure for removing a print. So this is real hot right now. I'm going to lift this off. This fill plate is hot. It's kind of burning my hands. Be careful with that. And we'll bring it over to the table over here. Now, when the build plate is hot, the part is going to stick to the PEX very well. Do not try to pull it off at this point because you might damage your PEX. You'll pull a chunk with it. So you want to let it cool. My preferred method of cooling is just propping it up on two little wood sticks so that the air could get to it underneath, upward. You could lean it. You could do whatever you want. But let's just let that thing cool down. By the way, some people even put this on. I learned this from Neri's. Uh, he puts it down on a steel table. That steel will suck the heat out of that thing real quickly. You want to make sure, though, even when the PEX is cool, that your part is cooled. If you have a very heavy mass, let's say PETG part on here, that's going to have a lot of heat underneath the part. Even though the plate's cool, it still might be really sticking there. The one thing we don't ever want to do is force that piece off of the plate. So we're going to let this thing cool. When I feel directly underneath it, it's still hot. And we'll come back in two minutes. That should be enough. Okay, it's just been about two minutes, and I'm assuming that it's cool enough. Usually when it's cool enough, the part will just lift off magically. It's a little bit warm. You may want to wait a little bit, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it pops off. So all I have to do is flex this slightly, and the piece should just pop off. If there's any resistance, you can flex it from two directions. Otherwise, just make sure that it is cool enough and it's not sticking. You don't want to force it. This is not a build surface that you've got to chisel ever again. Um, for some of the fine single layer outlines, you might want to just ease it with a spatula. Once you get under there, it just comes right off. You don't need to scrape. You don't need to pry. It's just trying to get under there. That stuff doesn't want to stay down. And your plate's clean. Your model will have a beautiful bottom. And that's as easy as it is. So make sure that your plate is totally cooled down before attempting to pop it off. You don't want to damage the build surface. Thank you and happy printing.